you all warmly welcome to Joshua Ko Online Maths. In our class today, we'll be talking about how we can easily find the antilog of numbers. Remember in our previous video that we uploaded, in that video we explained how you can easily find the logarithms of numbers. Numbers less than 1 and even greater than 1. In this video, we'll be explaining how you can easily find the antilog of, of numbers also less than you can really say less than one and not say that but how to find the word the antelope of number you can say learn number less than one and also numbers greater than one two we have four questions on the board that we're using to demonstrate how we can easily do that because it's actually very very simple to do this now why is this important it's very important for us to know how to find the antelope of number because we touch you being able to find the antilog, knowing how to get the antilog of numbers, you will not be able to get your final answer, especially when it comes to when you are multiplying two different numbers or dividing two different numbers or finding the square or the square root of numbers, okay, under log reading. For you to get your final answer, you must have a good knowledge of how antilog, antilog table works and that's exactly what we'll be doing in this video so we have four questions that we'll be using the question said that using the table find the antilog readings of the following numbers find the antilog readings of what of the following numbers now we have the very first one there now okay now in your four figure table or your mathematical um mathematical statistical table you'll find the antilog table and anti the antilog table on page four and five, like in this one, I'm holding your page four and five. And for some, in some textbook, mathematics textbook, you can also find it there. They are still what the same. The bottom line is, we just want to know how to use it. Now, I have an extract of what of the antilog table here on the board. Exactly what you are seeing here, it's anything as what you have here on your what on your table. So we're using this now to explain how we can easily find the antilog readings of these numbers here so let's take the very first one here we have the first one say 2.8129 so what do we do the right solution so we'll take the first one now okay so we're going to find this is the number so you write the number so we are looking for what is the antilog now we are looking for so the number is what 2.8129 so now, when you are finding the antelope, what is our, where do we focus on? We focus on the mantissa side. The mantissa side, that is the decimal part of the question. We focus on the decimal part of the question. Like in this question, the decimal part here, what we have, we have 8129, 8129. So how will I get that now? I will say this means 81 under 2 difference 9. 81 under 2 difference 9. So, like what you are having here now, this is what 0.81. That is all 0.81 under 2. That is what you are seeing here. 0.81 under 2. We have what that is what that was 64, 86. Now, the last digit that is what difference 9. You will trace it down to the what to under the difference. And what number do we have there? We have what 14 there. So, I'm going to add 14 to this now. So adding this now, this is 10, you write 0, carry 1, 10 again, write 0, carry 1, this is 5, 6. So the antilog now, that would be what? 6, 5, 0, 0. But is that our final answer? Not at all. So what would you now do? Now say, therefore, the antilog now, the antilog will be what? Now, look at this. This supposedly the characteristics part of this question will guide us to know where our decimal point is going to be in our final answer. You know, when we are finding the characteristics, when we from our previous video that I uploaded, when we want to find the word, if for instance you want to look for the, 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 the log readings, okay, if you want to get the characteristics, we say you pay attention to the whole number part. If you are having just four significant figures, it means you will subtract, you will subtract one from it. So the characteristics will not be what three. And if you are having just two significant figure, two ms, two significant figure that is from the whole number part, what you do, you will subtract one from the two, and that means that the characteristics will be one. 
Now, this time, when you are finding the antelope, now we are going to do the exact opposite of it. Since we are having the characteristics as two here, we are not going to add one to the two. That will not be what? Three. So, what does that mean? It means we are going to move a decimal, starting cutting from this side now. We are going to move from here. One, two, three. So, that means our decimal point is going to be what? 650.0. 650.0. So these are what these are finance. Therefore, so the antilog of 2.81 2 the antilog of that is equal to what is 650.0. So that is it, it's not difficult at all. Now let's take the second one, or better still, you can try to say that the antilog, the antilog of 2.8129 is equal to 650.0 okay so that is it so let's take the second one now so b now this time we're having we have number we're going to look for the word for the anti log so the number is what 0 0.64 Six two, okay. Again, what will I do now? Remember, our attention is on what on the decimal part of this question. So again, we find what sixty four under six difference two. Sixty four under six difference two. So look at this is what sixty four from our, our mathematical table. So sixty four under six. The number there is what four four two six. Difference 2. So, you trace it down. Difference 2 is still what? Is 2. So, you add them. So, this is what? 8, 2, 4, 4. So, our answer will be what? 4, 4, 2, 8. So, now say therefore, the anti log now, the anti log of 0 0.6462. It's equals to now remember what I say. Look at the whole number part, it's just what zero. So, what will I do? I will add one to it. Remember, in this case, we added one to it that gives us what three. So, our next map will move. We can start starting from this end now. We move one, two, three, and we'll fix our decimal point here. So, this time we're having just what zero. So, we're going to add one to it now. Okay, so zero plus one that is one. So, that means that our final answer now. So, the analog of this now will not be what. Will be possible. We are going to move from here now. Move now one. So our final answer will be 4.428. That is our final answer. So the antilog of 0. Point, the antilog of 0. 0.6462 is equal to what? 4.428. And that is our answer. Not difficult at all. Very, very simple. All you need to do is to practice. Practice regularly, and before you know it, you find out that these things are very, very simple. Now, let's take the third one now. We have number, then we have anti log. So, look, so this is what? But 2.0735. Remember what I said? Our attention is what is on the whole number part. The whole number what? So we're going to look for what? 0 0.7 under 3. So from my table, I have it already here. 0 0.7 under 3. That is what? 1183. Now, difference what? Difference 5. So you go to under difference. Difference 5 is what? Is 1. So what do we add? This is 4, 8, 1, 1. So our answer is what? 1, 1, 8, 4. But now, look at this. If you look at the characteristics aspect of this question, is what is bar two? Is bar two? Remember, in our previous video that we uploaded, we said that if you want to get the characteristics of maybe when you have zeros coming or maybe number less than one, okay, maybe you have zero point zero 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 zero. You then say that you represent such characteristics by using what bar based on the number of what zeros you are having there. The same thing also applies in this case now. Okay, so for us to know where we're going to, what we're going to do now, since we're having what, bar 2 now, 
instead of just fixing the decimal point, what do we do? This time we are going to add what? We are going to add 0 to our answer. Okay? So now when I say the therefore anti log of bar 2.0735 now will now be equals to. Now, based on the fact that we're having bar 2 now, how many zero will now add? We'll now be adding what? Two zeros. We'll be adding two zeros. That'll be what? 0 0.0, um, 0 0.0. 1184. And that is the answer. That is the answer to that. So please don't forget when you're having bar 2 like that is the characteristic aspect here now. For you to not get your final answer after finding the antilog, you now add what you add what two zeros. Now, what happens if we are having bar three or bar four? Of course, you're going to add like three or four zeros. Now, the next example we clearly explain that to us. That is D. Now let's take D now. D we have number. We are looking for the word antilog. The antilog, the number is what by 8.1198. Now what do we do now? As usual, we're also going to use our word, our statistical table now, to get the word, to get the value of what of this mantis side of this number we are seeing here. So that means we're going to look for what 11 under 9 difference 8. And from what we're having on the board here, we have it already. That is what point 11, point 11 under 9, point 11 under 9 is what is 1, 3, 1, 5. Now difference 8, you continue on that same line. Difference 8 is what is 2. So you add it, this is what 7, this is 1, 3, 1. So that is it. So what do you do now? So after adding that now, we said that is what one three one five plus two. So this is seven one three one. That is it. One three one seven. So that is what one three one seven. So what do we now do now to now get our final answer? Because this is not your final answer. Now for us to get our final answer, we now need to consider what this characteristic part here. If you look at the characteristic part, we are having what by eight there. So now conclude therefore. Anti log of by 8.1198 1198 is equals to now since we're having by 8, how many zeros we add now? You answer correctly. 8 zeros. So that is it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then you now write what? You now write the number. That is what? 1. Three, one, seven. That is it. So that is how we can actually find what the antilog of what of any number, be a number less than one or greater than one. Now remember, it's very important for you to know how to do this because your ability to do this will help you to get your final answer when you are adding two numbers together on that word logarithm, adding or subtracting or multiplying or doing anything at all. Once again, for you to understand this better, the key in mathematics is practice. I encourage you to watch this video over and over again. Practice the question. Pick up questions from your textbook. Lay your hands on them. I can assure you, if you watch this video and watch our previous video, you will be able to find the antilog and even the log readings of any number without any problem. Please watch out for our next video now. As soon as I'll be talking more on that log reading. This time, we'll not be seeing how Sometimes we're expected to add. When do we add? In log reading. When do we multiply? In log reading. When do we find a square? In log reading. Please watch out for next video as we'll be explaining some of this in the next video. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.